Well, we, we did what we said we were going to do, but then we could have done more, and we were, had it all bought, and we had the election was ended and rigged, by the way, and we didn't take over. And what they did, and this is the first time I realized they were serious because I thought they were playing games. I realized they didn't want to build security. They wanted to have an open border. That's Trump giving a speech and rambling about what he did do, what he didn't do, what, I don't know what he's saying. Aren't Republicans sick of this guy yet? This one Republican is sick of MAGA. Watch. This is not uh, conservative Republicanism. This is stupidity. Uh, The idea that we're going to shut the government down uh, when we don't control the Senate, we don't control the White House. These people can't define a win. They don't know how to take yes for an answer. Uh, It's a clown show. You keep running lunatics, you're going to be in this position. Now, here's what his Republican colleague said to that. Well, obviously, I disagree with uh, Congressman Lawyer. Lawyer. He, um, I like him. Uh, He's got his opinion. Uh, my opinion is that you can't keep this path of destruction of overall spending. It's got to end somewhere. It was put in, in focus today at our caucus meeting that on interest alone, we're spending $20,000 per second. Not minute, not hour, per second. Uh, where I disagree with uh, many of the moderates is uh, the only thing this president done uh, that, that's been done well is give us a treasure of things to cut. You mean things like Medicare and Social Security, like this other Republican colleague of yours suggested? All federal legislation sunsets in five years. If a law is worth keeping, Congress can pass it again. So that would raise taxes on half of Americans and potentially sunset programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. Why would you propose something like that in an election year? Sure. Well, John, that's, of course, the Democrat talking point. It's a no, no, it's plan. in the plan. <laughs> it's in well, the plan. But he- so in case you haven't been paying attention, all of this stuff that I just showed you has to do with the government shutdown that is looming, that's coming at the end of the month, and how MAGA Republicans are just not serious and how they're hurting any moderate Republicans within their own party. What's happening is we are now about to uh, um, get to our debt ceiling limit which would mean that the government would have to shut down because the Congress has decided to not fund all of the programs that Kevin McCarthy had agreed to fund in a previous negotiation with Joe Biden. But Kevin McCarthy is being held hostage by the MAGA right, who is trying to please Donald Trump. Donald Trump, as a matter of fact, sent out a post on his Truth Social saying, shut it down. He said, you guys should shut down the government because... Uh, Biden's administration is doing things that Donald Trump doesn't like, including indicting him. So all of this, we are going to go into a government shutdown. We're going to go into uh, major financial problems because Donald Trump has made up the lie that the DOJ is going after him for political reasons. Has nothing to do with the fact that he tried to overthrow democracy on January 6th. Has nothing to do with the fact that he took the classified documents and did not give them back and tried to hide them, obstructed justice when asked to return them. Had nothing to do with the fact that he went to Georgia, called Secretary of State in Georgia and asked for the 11,000 plus votes. Had nothing to do with that. Had nothing to do with the hush money. He's never done anything wrong. You see, he's just totally innocent and he's fighting for you. He even says to these folks, he goes, they're coming after me because I'm protecting you. They are coming after me because I criticized the intelligence agencies. He criticized the intelligence agencies because he wanted them to be his intelligence agencies. He famously said, where's my Roy Cohn? He famously wanted Bill Barr to be his lawyer, not the lawyer for the people of America. The way Merrick Garland right now is in that Merrick Garland brought these indictments against Trump. He went in front of a Congress and said to them that I am not the Biden's lawyer and I'm not Congress's lawyer. I am the lawyer for the people of this country. And so here we are with uh, speeches from Donald Trump, like you saw earlier, where he's just rambling on about things he was going to do, things he didn't do. He was talking about the wall because the critique is that he promised that he's going to build the wall and Mexico is going to pay for it. He didn't build the wall. Mexico didn't pay for it. He built a little bit of a wall. And by the way, if you build a wall to keep out any kind of drug cartels, drug cartels build tunnels and they come in. So your solution for a wall is just a numbnut solution anyway. 
But that said, he does not ever take criticism and admit that he did not fulfill a lot of the promises that he made. The one promise that he made that he did fulfill was he cut taxes for the rich. So there you go. The rich won again, and most people did not. Um, then you saw that uh, uh, moderate Republican congressman out of New York saying it's a clown show. It is a clown show. You've got Jim Jordan. You've got Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, uh, Paul Gosar, all of these nut jobs that somehow won and are now in Congress and are holding us hostage. They're about to, they're about to shut down the government. That's going to affect every one of us because of their crazy, crazy ideas. They keep saying that Biden has done something that he should be impeached for, but they have no proof. So bring the proof and then let's go. But when you don't have the proof and you want to shut down the government and you're going to affect your own constituents, that's not good. Then you got Rick Scott, who famously said he wants to cut programs. And then he said, no, I didn't, I didn't say Social Security and Medicare. But even the Fox News correspondent was laughing in his face going, it's in the plan. You said in the plan you want to cut these benefits that people need, the elderly need, others need. And, and he put it in the plan. And he, the guy, the Fox News guy said, why would you do that in an election year? Because this plan came out uh, during the midterms. So all of this to say, we see that these MAGA folks are not serious. They can complain. Complaining is easy, folks. I can complain all day long. Why am I paying so much taxes? Why are the roads still uh, um, not cleaned up? Why are the roads all uh, cracked? Why, uh, why do we spend so much money on wars overseas? I can make up complaints all day long, but where's your solutions? Jim Jordan has zero solutions. And they have a lot of cuckoo ideas. They took away a woman's right to choose. They want to uh, uh, take away anything ref ref referring to LGBTQ community. They want to take that away. They're going out and they're doing big book burnings. So these people are not serious. Whoever voted for them needs to do a gut check next time and ask themselves, even though you agree with their hardcore, a lot of these people are hardcore religious right-wing types, even though you agree with all that stuff, did these people that you voted into Congress do anything for you? How did they affect your bottom dollar? They probably hurt you, and they probably helped their big donors. So think about that the next time you go to the polls, and make sure you vote for someone who's actually going to do something for you and not gaslight you with culture wars and make you vote for them and then take advantage of you. So where are we? Register to vote. Vote blue if you can. If you're going to vote, Red, vote red for somebody who is looking out for you and your interests, your bottom dollar, not someone who is ready to burn down the whole country, the whole house to save themselves. And that starts with Donald Trump at the top who wants you to shut down the government just because they're going after him for breaking the law. I'm Maz Jobrani. I have a special on YouTube. It's called The Birds and the Bees. It's a stand-up comedy special. Watch it. Enjoy it. Rate it. Tell your friends. And uh, be good.